Minecraft continues its grind for optimization, adds new features for both the Breeze Mob and the Armadillo, and even brings in a brand new commands to the game. Oh, hi everyone, Doolin here, and welcome to Snapshot 24W04A. It's Snapshot Day, dudes. What? No. No, where's my, where's, where's my double colon? This can't be. This can't be. Oh. Okay, never mind. We're still in business, baby. Double colon Dolan lives on. Every week the double colon is allowed to live. I only grow stronger. Starting off with the newest addition to the game, the armadillo. A couple of changes have happened to this furry little cr He's not furry. Are they furry? Wait. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna say begrudgingly yes, but these things were introduced a couple weeks ago, and uh, you may remember if you run up to them, they will curl up into a little ball, and uh, they, you know, seem to be more protected. Well, this week, they actually will take less damage if rolled up into a ball, so it actually reflects a shell-like behavior. But the armadillo also got a new snazzy feature to go along with that snazzy shell. Okay, so it just attacked the armadillo, and now its whole thing is that it's supposed to roll up if it detects that it's near a mob that recently attacked it. And there you go. You can see even though I'm really far away, it's still rolled up into a ball. And then the further away the skeleton gets, he unrolls. But again, killing them doesn't actually provide you with anything. You can just brush them to get the armadillo scoots. Here's a fun thing. If the player has weakness, it actually won't deal any damage to the armadillo at all if it's punching it. Big day if your name is Cubfan135, a copper block and a stone cutter will now give you four copper grates. Isn't that great? <laughs> I have a button specifically just to do that now. Technical changes. You like that? I added a little, a little infliction that time. Not so monotonous. Keeps you on your toes. It's a small thing, but in your open to land menu, allow cheats is now called allow commands. Last week introduced the concept of doing more optimization to the game. And this was in the form of reducing the spawn chunks by about 97%. And they're continuing that idea of optimization going into this week's snapshot with region file compression. There's a new way to configure your region file compression. You can still do it the old way, or you can use the new LZ4 algorithm, which uses less CPU, but makes it a bigger file. The data pack version is now on 29, and they did some tweaking with the TPS debug chart, which I did not know existed. It's F3 and 2 if you want to detect your TPS. Down here at the bottom, it says 20 TPS, which means everything is running as intended, but there are a bunch of new colors to kind of help you figure out what everything means. Big ol' purple spike? What's that mean? It displays the time spent executing all the other codes during the tick. Here's a full list of all the colors and what they mean. Minecraft just added a brand new command into the game, the transfer command. This one's kind of interesting because it allows you to transfer a player to another server. Now the technical implications of this are really cool because two servers no longer have to be internally linked in order for a player to move between them like they would in a hub situation. So if I'm reading this right, I think that means things like Hypixel could just be on entirely different IPs and could still be transferred between servers. I don't know if I'm right though. If you are more technologically apt than me, please feel free to correct me in the comments. Wow, that's probably no good. Anyway, let's talk about the brand new Breeze Mob. There's been some changes to this little guy's behavior. So all throughout the trial chamber, there are a variety of different mobs that can spawn. And for a full list of those, check out the video I've linked in the description when I went over uh, the trial chamber. A lot of it included zombie variants, skeleton variants, and spider variants. And if they attacked the breeze mob on accident, the breeze would just kind of let loose on them. And that's been fixed in this one. So now the breeze no longer retaliates against any of those mobs. And vice versa, the mobs will no longer retaliate against the breeze if the breeze accidentally hits them. The Iron Golem famously hates a lot of things, and now it hates one more thing. It will now attack the Breeze Mob. Thanks for the help, bozo. Ooh, 
Ah, boy, my tiny little brain hurts after all those technical changes. But it is very nice to hear that they are working towards optimizing this game every single week. What do you guys think of the changes? Let me know your favorite ones. I think the armadillos with their shells are pretty cool. But I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. But that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, found it useful, like the video. Maybe subscribe to the channel because I do snapshot updates every week. But until next time, this is Doolin, and I'll see you later. Bye now. It's so ugly. Ew, dude. Ew.